Hey everybody, it's Mandy Lee here, and today we're gonna talk about networking. So the most successful networking is actually about genuinely building a deep relationship with somebody, not just trying to get business from them. But this can be really challenging for a lot of people. Usually one of three things I see happen. One is that there's just so many people you want to do business with and so many people that you want to connect with and it's overwhelming trying to keep up with what everybody else is doing. The second thing is that you only see certain people that you're business acquaintances with a couple times a year, so it makes it difficult to have a deeper relationship with them. The third thing is that you know somebody that you would like to build a deeper relationship with and like to do business with and partner with, but you don't know how to have that deeper relationship or what steps to take to make that genuinely happen and not seem forced or inauthentic. Well, today I'm gonna to help you build instant deeper relationships with people without having to spend tons of extra time keeping up with what everybody's doing, without having to go to all of the events that are out there, and doing it in a way that feels really authentic to you. My first tip for you guys is whenever you meet somebody, go ahead and either jot down or use your iPhone in the notes section and create a contact for that person. And then genuinely and authentically throughout the conversation, figure out these things and write them down into a note section in their contact. What their partner's name is, what their kids' names are or their pets' names, what their birthday is, their partner's birthday, their kids' birthdays, their anniversary, if they have any special hobbies or anything else interesting that just comes up during the dialogue. What are they struggling with right now? Um, what do they share with you that they're looking for? Do they really love hockey or a certain type of music? After the event is over or the dinner is over, you wanna go ahead and go into your calendar and set up some reminders for the birthdays and the anniversaries. This way, even when you get busy with your life, when it's their birthday or anniversary, it, your reminder will come up and you can either send them an email or send them a card. And even that small gesture really goes a long, long way. The fact that you remembered and the fact that you took the time to reach out to them to show you care is something that they won't forget. And then the next time you're gonna meet up with them, Review that note section. Remember their kids' names. Remember what they were talking about the last time you were together and bring that up in your conversation. Tip number two is when you know you're gonna meet up with somebody at an event or at a dinner, before you're gonna meet up with them, go on to their Facebook or their blog or their website and just see what's going on for them. Are they working on a certain marketing campaign? Did they just come out with a new product? Um, did they post pictures from a new family trip? Find out and touch base with where they're at right now. It's a great conversation starter. It's a great icebreaker. It shows them that you care. You can come into the experience and have a deeper connection and a deeper conversation because you already have a general idea of what's working in their world right now. Tip number three is have deeper conversations actually get to the meat and bones of life. Ask them questions like, so what really excites you nowadays? Or what's the dialogue you're finding yourself having a lot these days? These type of questions are like a breath of fresh air to most people. They really appreciate this because it gives them a chance to look at their life differently, to maybe learn something about their own selves. And when you can share this level of vulnerability with somebody back and forth, that builds an instant connection that nobody will forget. Tip number four is always look for ways that you can give to somebody else. You wanna show them that you're not in this relationship because you wanna receive something, that you genuinely care about them and respect them, admire them as people, as what they show up in as the world and their business. From the generosity of your heart, you wanna to give to them. And it doesn't always have to be around your business. It could be maybe they want to study something new and you know a great YouTube video on it so you share the link with them. Or maybe they need a new hairstylist and you have a great one that you could give them that contact. 
or maybe it's just opening up your home and offering them a home cooked meal by you. This creates an environment that's open and that's safe which is where co-creation and juicy ideas all start to spring up from. As always, the best way to actually make all these things start happening now as a reality for you is to declare it below. So go ahead down below and write out what are you gonna do this week? What's one thing that you're gonna do to start having deeper relationships with people in your life and with people that you wanna do business with and that you wanna network with? If you know anybody else who's been struggling with how to keep up with everybody they want to network with and how to have deeper relationships with people, please pass this video along, share this information with them, and subscribe to our channel because we post videos every week with lots of great information to support you. We look forward to seeing you next week. Much love. Subscribe.